Oh, signal cartel. It's thrice again. I'm up at the barn again today. I mentioned last time I'd show you the cistern and the pump and all that stuff. This little building off the side of the barn is called the milk house. Back when this was a dairy, that's where they'd store the milk once it was out of the cow. And as you can see, the barn's got a lot of square footage on the roof. So there at the back corner, we got a downspout. And when it rains, we get a lot of water off of that roof. Of course, that's just half of it. It's got another side just that big, and we collect that too. And all that goes into a cistern back here, <clears throat> which is just a big hole in the ground. This cistern is original to the house, to the barn, to this property. <clears throat> so all that water comes off the roof and goes down into this tank. I'm not going to take the cover off right now. There's This time of year there'll be wasps under there. I'll have to clear those out. So there's just a big round cylinder goes down into the ground, probably about 15 or 20 feet deep, and that just fills up with rainwater. <clears throat> and then in here, I have a little area. So there's a pump that sits on top of that pressure tank, and it's just a shallow uh, well, like a jet pump, it'll uh, draw up to about 25 feet or so deep. So that's good enough for this application. And then that pressure tank keeps us with a constant pressure down at the house. And uh, the lights that are in there are for the winter to keep it from freezing up here. You can see it's in an insulated box. So in the winter months, that stays shut tight and those lights stay on when it goes below freezing. Uh, to keep it from freezing up in there. I've had the pump freeze a couple times in the past, and that's not a lot of fun. And then I've got it wired. There's a little photo eye in there, if you can see that. It's got a little sensor on there, and if those light bulbs ever go out, um, it turns a light on outside the milk house here. So in the winter, all i got to do is poke my head out the door or look out the window, and if I see a light on up here, then I know I got a problem. And I have to come up and change the light bulbs because something burnt out. And uh, if I see no light, then that means everything's good and I got heat inside the uh, milk house. So, incandescent bulbs, still a good thing. You need something that puts out a little bit of heat up here. And so these incandescent bulbs are, are just warm enough to keep that whole space nice and toasty in the winter. So, uh, I'm glad that they still sell incandescents. Is, uh, for an application like this, it's just the right thing. So they don't get used much. Those are the two I put in in the fall, and they're still burning bright here in the spring. I don't. I think maybe I had to change one of them, but uh, they usually go through a whole winter season, no problem. So anyway, that's the pump up here at the milk house. It's pretty much just for storage at this point. You can hear the rooster in there in the barn. He's in with the calf today, one of the roosters, keeping him company. All right, well, I see a lot of bee stuff on the shelves back there, so maybe next time I'll go out back to the hives and we'll take a look at those. Hope everybody's doing great. It's a beautiful sunny day here in uh, northern Kentucky, looking out, <clears throat> facing north. Looks good. Just a few clouds up in the sky. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.